Uh, Theatre has long been used to explore questions of race and identity. Well, now a new one-woman show by performer Phoebe McIntosh is taking a modern look at slavery in Britain. It's called Dominoes, and it gets to the heart of how family history has a way of catching up with us. In a moment, I'll be talking to Phoebe, but first, here's a preview of the show. I'm getting married soon. My great-grandmother's great-grandmother was due to attend a wedding once. Uh, not as the bride, not even as a humble guest, but as a gift. She was property being given away from one master to another on his wedding day. My great-grandmother's great-grandmother was a slave. Well, Phoebe McIntosh is uh, with me now. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, I don't want to give, or rather, I don't want you to give too much away about the play, but can you tell us uh, what it's about and how it, how it develops? What's the premise? Right, so um, the main character is a lady called Layla McKinnon. She's a history teacher. She's 29 and she's mixed race. And basically, she's about to marry a guy, which is all good, but she uh, has already got his surname. And um, it's all good in principle until she does some digging into her family history and finds out that the reason for that is because his family were plantation owners who owned her family who were slaves. Which is why she took the same surname. Exactly. So some point along uh, that line of history, the, the name uh, was adopted by the slaves that they owned. And so. that causes clashes, presumably, with the fiancé. For sure. And also her best friend as well. That's right. Well, what's the dynamic there? Yeah, so she has a best friend who is black, and um, she is put in the position where she's told that she's carrying on the ownership if she is to marry this man. And Laura, her best friend, is, is not happy about this. She thinks it's kind of a threat to, to their identity as, as black women or as mixed race women. And she, she says, I'm not going to be your bridesmaid. I can't, I can't stand by while you continue this ownership. So where did the inspiration come from then? I mean, how much of this is drawn on your own experiences? From, from my life. Well, a couple of things. So being mixed race, I'm half Jamaican, half British. So I've, I've kind of definitely played with that idea of identity and which camp I fit in or if I've got a new camp in the middle. Um, my in-laws, when they got married, they had the same surname. So that was always kind of bubbling away. I thought that was quite cute that mm. they uh, found each other. And then I watched a documentary on the BBC. Um, it was called Britain's Forgotten Slave Owners. And it talked about the compensation received by the slave owners for the loss of their property at the uh, time of abolition. So I just thought, this is crazy, like, you know, ha this probably isn't very well known. You know, it's, it's very well known that Britain has a significant role in the, the slave-owning history, but that they received a payout from the government. I just thought, I've, I've got to write about this. How important is it? I mean, these are, these are difficult issues, but you don't want yeah. to lecture an audience, do, do you? I mean, how important is it to, to create a, a, you know, a strong narrative so that these issues are sort of discussed without you know, forcing it down people's throats, I yeah, guess? Yeah, that is the challenge. I think the, the context I've presented it in is a woman about to get married, which is so relatable. And, it, and it's a woman very nervous about the, the, the prospect of stepping into marriage. Um, so along the way, she's kind of feeding off her, her own uh, wedding jitters, but bringing in these, these strong themes of who am I and, and, you know, what's my identity and should I go through with this? So I'm hoping it doesn't feel like a lecture. I think the fact that she's a teacher, there, there are a couple of scenes where she, she is telling you as a classroom of students that, you know, please listen, we've got some studying to do. But... And then, you know, there's a lot of humour in there as well, so... I won't tell you yeah. whether the marriage goes ahead... i ask you whether the marriage goes ahead yeah. or not. But, yeah. I mean, what are the lessons to be learned? Is it that it is important to, to look back at your own family history or rather that actually it's not because you never quite know what you might I, find? Well, yeah, I suppose there's that as well. I think what I've learned is it is important. It, it's, it's important to ask questions of yourself and as difficult as, as you know, what you might find out is, it's... How can you use that now? So how can we use the lesson of uh, our slave owner, owning past to inform, you know, what's going on now and, and how we relate to each other and how we reconcile those differences in modern day Britain? And yeah. just uh, in the few seconds we've got left, uh, yeah. doing it solo, I mean, that's quite intimidating, <laughs> isn't it? it? It is, but, you know, I, I'm on stage solo, but I've got a great team and support around me. I've got the Lighthouse Arts Centre in Poole and Black Theatre Live who have kindly supported the show throughout and I, I'm grateful to them for everything. Yes, but yeah. still just you are holding just it all me. together. Know, well, yeah. good luck with it. Phoebe, thank you very much. Phoebe McIntosh there and uh, uh, new production, Dominoes.